So let's look at another division problem, another division problem that we can do by hand, which is so important for us to learn how to do. So we have here 29 divided by 5. 29 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. So we have to ask yourself, how many times can 5 go into 29? Well, first of all, we check 5 can't go into 2 whole time. So that we can't go 5 into 2. We check that first. And since 5 can't go into 2, we see how many times can 5 go into 29? We know that 5 can go into 29 5 times at least because 5 times 5 is 25. So we know it can go into 29 5 times. So we take that, 20, that 25 and we're going to subtract that, um, that number. So we have 29 minus 25. And we do that, then we're going to get a remainder of 4. So essentially we have 29 minus 5 and we're going to have a remainder of 4 there. So 5 becomes our quotient, right? But our quotient is kind of like a partial quotient. We have, we have 5 with a remainder of 4. So being able to do this is going to be so helpful. Being able to do division by hand is going to be so helpful for you as you move along in math. You're going to have to do this a lot of times kind of right off on the side to help you figure out problems. So this is going to be really helpful to you in the future.